Hi everybody. Uh, I just wanted to do a follow-up uh, video on uh, the stove cleaning, showing you how to do your stove, uh, your glass top stove, and uh, this is just a follow-up to that. We are not using the Wyman's this time because I just don't have any. So I wanted to show you the magic is kind of all in the razor blade. So uh, let me get my camera situated and we'll begin. Okay, so here we are. Here's the stove. You can kind of see if you can see how the how this is right now where it's kind of baked on I had to wait a long time so that I could do this video again to let it kind of I wanted to get it to where it's kind of I wish you could see this just a little bit better uh, let me see okay so that's a little bit you can kind of see that this is really just uh, built on so um, you can kind of tell that this is the warmer. It's not used very much. But anyway, we're going to kind of go through all of this and clean this up really good. I want to show you that you can remove this kind of buildup on your stove just using household. Okay, so I have some really, really hot water. I put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Um, can you kind of see? It's only to about right here on the cup. I'm going to add some baking soda and you don't have to measure this you're just trying to make it we're it's not really a paste that we're making um but we're making a cleaning liquid kind of i mean like a very thin paste i guess we're going to use quite a bit of dawn i do find that dawn is the most effective normally i would do this on um with the uh stove cleaner that i normally use which is the uh I have the bottle. I don't have it. It's the uh, Wyman's. If you look at my uh, other video, which I'll link it to this video, uh, it kind of, uh, I show you what I use normally. Okay, so I'm going to use a lot because we, this is really dirty, and this may be entirely too much, but that's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to pour this on there, especially on the parts that are really gross. This one sometimes it isn't that bad. Okay. So then we're just gonna kind of rub this on there. Okay, and then we're just going to let this sit. And I'm going to let this sit for a good uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So this has been sitting about 10 minutes. Uh, and now we're just going to use a, uh, this is a new razor blade um, uh, that I just put in there a while ago. I tried it to kind of test it a little bit, so that's what's on it. But so what we're going to do is just start scraping with your razor blade. Um, in one direction, of course, you don't want to gash your stove or anything, but it won't scratch it uh, as long as you do it in one direction. See how it already took some of that off? So this is what we're going to work on. gonna hurt your stove I know everyone says don't uh, you'll see where don't use a razor blade but you're not gonna get this off of a stove that's baked on like this if you don't have something to take it off like this um, and I've had this stove um, five years maybe now so four or five I think I think it's been about five years so and I always do my stove this way when it gets to where the stuff is kind of built up on there. We're just wiping it down. It's not going to work anymore. And you just want to go across it until it, you see how it's kind of making that sound like there's still something there. 
So you just want to keep going across it until it doesn't do that. Some of these that kind of still had just a little bit left on it. Get in the middle too. See, this one's still kind of, this is the one, you can tell this is the one that I use the most. this up then. Look at all that that came off of there. Okay. That one feels pretty good. That one's pretty good. This one and this one are still just a tiny bit. So. seconds. Okay, I'm just heating up the kind of liquid in the microwave, get it just a little bit hot. All right. And so what I'm going to try to do right here is just 
use a razor blade a little bit more on these because if you you can still kind of feel with your hand that there's stuff on there. And this is a good um, kind of fix for when you're out of like the uh, the good cleaner that because the Wyman's the thing about it is that it has that coating that kind of protects it from getting dirty so fast. So that's the only reason that I really like that product. But this is a good fix for when you're out of that, or if you just don't have it and you can't stand your stove like this anymore. So all I'm going to do is spray the back of my stove, and we'll kind of buff this up a little bit. And this is just uh, lemon shine. Lemmy shine. Okay, and I'm going to get a fresh microfiber towel. we go guys that's pretty much it so didn't realize I set that in front of it but this is what it looks like <laughs> 